Hi and welcome to the Felt Chat, where I share with you my felts and woolly plants. I'm Mrs. Cute Felts, and if you're new here, you are in for a treat. I had a bit of unexpected time off YouTube, and now we have a lot of catching up to do. So get yourself a cozy drink, and we can jump right in. I will include chapters, which are those tiny sections under the video, so you can jump around if you're here only for the felts. I completely understand that, but I believe we can start with a little update about my personal life. I have to mention that my cat Mango is here and he's having his lunch, so if you can hear him eating in the background, I'm sorry, but that's how it is. My last felt chat was posted on April, and since then I have a new full-time job. It definitely affects my free time that I can use for felting or filming videos. I needed some time to adjust to the 9 to 5 lifestyle after around two year long break. And I believe I'm managing my time better right now. And I hope to get back to making more content for you. And of course, felting. During the summer it was really important for me to catch up with my friends and have quality time with my loved ones. But that doesn't mean I didn't felt at all. Quite the opposite. I not only felt it, but I actually created my first felting classes. So these are my big news for this episode. I have five felting classes available on a platform called Creative Fabrica. I was thinking about creating classes since I started this channel, but it was just an idea. So when Creative Fabrica reached out to me, it felt like a push I needed to actually do it. I'm truly grateful for this experience because they gave me full creative freedom, but at the same time they provided some kind of structure to follow to and had set expectations. So I learned a lot from this. And I definitely feel more confident in making my own videos right now. I'm super excited to show you the felts I teach, so I will do it right now. And I will tell you how you can access the classes a little bit later. First one up is this cute bumblebee wall art, which can be beautiful home decor or amazing gift for the loved one. In this class, I'm sharing with you how you can create the base shapes for the body, attach the furry stripes, and create beautiful and shiny wings using Angelina fibers. Then I decided to create a project that would include both 2D and 3D techniques, so I went with this monarch butterfly pin. I included a template in this class so anyone can achieve this detailed pattern on the wings, and I also show how you can change the placement of the wings so the butterfly looks more realistic and eye-catching. Of course, I'm showing how to create the body and attach the pin. I gifted a similar pin to my family member and they say they are getting a lot of compliments and inquiries about it. So I believe this is a great product to put on your Etsy store or take to the craft fair. By the way, if you are following my classes on Creative Fabrica, you have the rights to sell the items you make. And of course, share them online. It would be so, so fun to see what everyone makes inspired from my classes. As I already mentioned 2D needle felting, the next class I would like to show you is this floral wool painting. This class can be considered advanced just because of the variety of flowers and amount of details in this wool painting. I have divided this class into lessons, each going over one specific type of flowers. For example, we have one for rose, one for the sunflower and ranunculus, and then there are a couple of classes that are going over the more abstract flowers and how you can achieve beautiful effects using really simple steps. I have included the sketch for this wool painting, but anyone can actually pick and choose from the lessons and create their own floral garden. And this is exactly what I love about this particular class. Flowers are so different and unique that you can go however detailed or abstract you would like and the result will still be beautiful. And I hope that my class would provide technical base for anyone who is ready to explore this. Class number four is my most beginner-friendly class. It's Felt Solar System. 
it's really hard to show it to you like this so I will include some clips right now so we are creating all of the planets the moon and the sun and I'm sharing three different techniques how you can create wool ball using both needle felting and wet felting techniques and also sharing a little trick how you can use yarn to make the process way faster it's a great educational toy and if you are not making these balls too hard and too heavy you can also use this as a home decor creating beautiful mobile or hanging them from the ceiling so options are really endless i'm showing two different ways how to add rings to the planets and i go into detail about all the color effects for example how to achieve the fiery effect of the sun or how your jupiter could get his iconic eye I believe this is really simple yet fun project to try out. And now it's time to show you my latest class on Creative Fabrica and that's Cat in a Teacup. It's making noise all the time because my hands are shaking so I will just take it off and tell you a little bit about this fluffy miracle here. So this class actually took me the longest because I wanted to develop simple techniques how anyone could achieve the typical look of the cat's face. And then I wanted this class to cover the basis for personalization in case someone is trying to create their little cat based on real one they have in life. For example, we are hand painting the eyes so you don't have to worry that the shops doesn't carry the size or the colors you want and i'm also showing how to add realistic feeling fluffy coat and plan all the markings whether they are stripes or other shapes so if this is your cup of tea and you would like to join my classes you can find the link in the description and in the comments section I am not the only one teaching felting on the platform, so maybe you're interested in other felters too. And actually, there are really interesting and creative classes on many different crafts. Creative Fabrica is subscription-based and you are paying around $12 for three months, so it's around $4 per month at the moment and you're gaining access not only to all my classes but all the classes on the platform so this is the main thing that kept me busy during the past months but during this time i also created this sparrow wool painting and i can say that this is maybe my favorite wool painting of all times i shared the process of felting a similar one in one of my first videos I will leave a link out there and in the description box it's not a tutorial but it's a really cozy video when I'm creating wool paintings it feels really magical I don't know why but I start out with one idea but it develops itself and turns into something completely different in 3d felting I'm usually not happy with the result if it's not matching my expectations but with 2d needle felting it's the opposite and this sparrow wool painting is definitely my favorite wool painting i have ever made and i was so lucky to be able to look at it for the past couple of months it was sitting in our living room and i truly enjoy it but now i believe it's time for, to let it go and i will place it in my etsy shop in the next week hopefully along with all the other makes i showed you today i know i promised you in my last felt chat that i will show you how i opened up the shop but i tried to vlog it and it's really not my thing it's technically way different than these kind of videos and i just don't have the skill yet i will definitely make video walking through all the steps i took and telling you about all the bumps i had in my road but for now i can only invite you to take a look at my shop you can find the link in the description and in the comments i have amazing felting friends that instantly purchased almost everything i had in my shop so i don't have a lot of stock there i hope to add the items i showed you today later on next week but it was amazing feeling to know that your 
creations will be in the homes of people that really appreciate them and they are creatives themselves. It's really special feeling and it's hard to put it in words. I was also lucky to have a couple of cat cave orders from Complete Strangers, which I think is a good sign that Etsy is showing my listings to people. Cat cave making process actually turns out to be way more stressful when you're making them for real customers. It's quite a delicate process and a lot of things can go wrong. Um, so it was a little bit stressful time, but everyone have successfully received their cat caves, so I'm really happy about it. I also had a really special request to create teapot cat cave. I will insert a clip right here. It was really elaborate project and I was so so stressed that I will not be able to make it. But I figured out some workarounds and techniques how to create this shape and add some creative details. Speaking of plants, I really would love to finally find time to edit the tutorial I already filmed in the spring. I know there are a lot of tutorials for gnomes out there, but this one will be special because Hyacinth and Witchard here are wet felted. Yes, their bodies and their hats are wet felted and then I added all the details using needle felting. I thought about it for a while because I really love the look of the gnomes, but my hands really hurt if I try to create the base shape. It's just taking too much time and it's too big and bulky and to be quite honest, I get bored easily. It was really fun experiment because I used same template for both gnomes, but as you can see, they turned out in two different sizes. I used green wool tops, which tends to shrink way more than my pink carded Coriadale wool. I kind of knew it's going to happen, but I didn't really took it into consideration. And at the end, our lovely gnome wife is way bigger and more intimidating than her tiny husband. So I'm lovingly naming her Hyacinth and him Richard. Using wet felting for the base shapes will also let you play around with the size. One of my felting friends suggested that it can be created as a door stopper, which I think is an amazing idea. So yeah, I believe it's just in time for the gnome season and I will do my best to really finalize this tutorial and share with you. I'm really tired from this really long video, but the last exciting thing I would love to share with you are my September plans. I am going to Yarndale. I'm flying out to UK to see my lovely felting friends there. I will see all of them for the first time in real life. Uh, I'm really nervous, but also truly excited. And of course, I'm going to share with you all the woolly goodies I'm going to get. I will most probably have a luggage full of locks, but that's for the next month. Thank you for joining me today and see you in my next one. Bye.